Hey guys, we are live again. Today I'm going to share with you another four sets of kanji characters. So let's start off with this kanji. is Onyomi is kin and it's Kunyomi is chikai. Chikai no chika dake ga kono kanji desu ne guys. Chikai means near. Near. Okay, so this is how we write this kanji. There are seven strokes for this kanji. First, we have to write this part and then followed by this part. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then all we have to do is to write kind of three. Guys, I'm having a hard time writing this one i hope this is the right way to write this this part so one two three four five then this kind of like three six and then seven so a total of seven strokes again guys chikai means near okay and the examples that i have for you i already wrote over here so this one is kin jo kin jo Kinjo. Guys, Kinjo means neighborhood. Example. Kinjo. Watashi tachi no Kinjo wa kerei desu or shizuka desu. Our neighborhood is kirei, clean. Shizuka means peace, peaceful, or you can say calm or quiet. And this kanji is the kanji for jusho, jusho or address. So this refers to a place, and then this one is chikai. Place, chikai, near place. So the meaning is neighborhood. The example that I'm going to give you for this kanji is jusho, address, ju. Kore sumo? Sumo no kanji. This one and then this kanji. Ju. W, Jusho. Jusho. Guys, this one you can also read this as Sho. Jusho. Or you can also read this as Tokoro. If you see this kanji alone, it means Tokoro or place. For example, your friend wants to go with you. Let's say go shopping or go somewhere else. Uh, what place do you like? Or what, not only place, let's say, what spot do you like? That is how you use this one. So again, when this is alone, you can read this as tokoro, place, or you can also read this as jo and sho. The next example that I have for you for this kanji is this one. This one is chikai no kanji. Plus Jidai. Jidai no kanji. Jidai means um, generation. So when it's near generation, it means that this word is modern times. Modern times. That's why to read this is like this. Kin. Kin. Jidai no dai. So it's kin dai. Kindai. The meaning is modern times. Chikai, near time. Jidai. Okay. The next one is this. Chikai no kanji plus uh, michi no kanji. So this is mm, chika. 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 Michi. So, Michi means street or road. 
near. So near road, the meaning is shortcut. Okay, shortcut or short way. Chika michi. Chika michi. For example, oh, please tell me the shortcut to go there. To go there. Um, chika michi wo oshete kudasai. Chika michi wo oshete kudasai. Okay. And okay, so next this one. Think this, this, and this. All of these three, they have the same onyome, which is K. Okay, so I'm going to give you the differences between the three and how do you use them. This one is, kunyom is ani. Ani means older brother. And older sister is called ane. Ani is older brother. Ah, sorry. Ane. Anne is older sister and then Ani is older brother. So when you see this, it's somewhat related to a person or to a family member. Okay, this one. And then this is Onyomi is also K. So when you see this, it's somewhat related to shape. Then this one, K, also K. When you see this, it's somewhat related to measuring something or plan. This one, this kanji. Okay, so first, let's start with this kanji. It's onyomi is K and kyo. And it's kunyomi is ani or older brother. For this kanji, there are five strokes. One, two, three, four, and then five. It's just like there's kind of like a tail. Okay. The examples that I have for you for our K K O no kanji are Fuke. Guys, Fuke means guardian. So Fu, the Fu for this is the um, kanji for Chichi or father. Otosan no kanji. One, two, three, four. So this is already Fu. K. K, this one. So, father, kind of like related to, related to a family member. So, Fuke means guardian. Okay. The next example is Kyodai. Kyodai means siblings or sibling. Okay, so, Kyo. This is Kyo. And then Dai is a bit beautiful. This one. Mm -hmm. This one is a bit difficult to write. I think this kanji is Sanan Seino kanji. Third grade kanji. This Daino, Kyo Daino kanji. And then from here, here, and then that one. So Kyo Dai. Kyo Dai. Okay. Means siblings. And the other one is Anito Ane. So this is already Ani means older brother. Ane, I'm just going to write here. Ane. Ane. Aja, Shiwa. Ani, nisu kana? Aja, Ani. Let's say to. I'm just going to write to there. To. Ane. Jose. No kanji. Oh, it's already. Ane. Onno no kanji plus she no kanji. If you see them together, the reading is ane. And then this one is ani. Older brother, older sister. Ani to ane ga imas. I have a, an older brother and an older sister. Okay. Okay, so we are done with our second kanji. Our next one is this. 
It's onyomi are K and gyo. And it's konyomi are kata or katachi. Katachi, the meaning is shape. So guys, when you see this kanji alone, the reading is katachi, which means shape. Donna katachi ga suki desu ka? What shape do you like? Okay. Donna katachi ga suki desu ka? Ah, konno katachi amari suki janai. I don't like this shape. Okay. For this kanji, there are seven strokes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The examples that I have for you are or Ningyo. Ningyo, which means dull. All we have to do is to write the kanji for Nin. Shito, shito no kanji plus katachi. Katachi no kanji. So it's Ningyo. Guys, let's check the, the kanji. As you can see, there is to person plus katachi. Shape, person shape. So it's a doll. Okay? The meaning of ningyo, ningyo, nabasina, ningyo is a doll. Okay? Next is hanagata. Hanagata means floral pattern. All we have to do is write the kanji for hana. Hana no kanji. This is hana. Hana. Then this one, you can also read this as kata or gata. Okay, so hana gata. Uh, hana gata ga suki na. I like. Floral patterns. Okay, the next one is NK. NK. So this kanji, you can also read this as K. And the N is the, the, the one that we use for Japan, Japan's currency. It's like this, we write, like this, like this, right? For example, 100 yen. You can also write this way or 100, can you see? Okay. 100 yen. Okay, so it's all the same. We foreigners, when we say yen, like that, right? But actually, it's not yen. It should be n. In Japan, there's no yen sound, or there's no, there is no kanji, not kanji, but uh, I mean hiragana or katakana for yet. So it's only n. Okay, hundred yen, hundred yen. So you can write either. And N means circle. So if you write N circle plus katachi, it means NK means round, round shape. Round shape. Okay. NK. Or round shape, or you can say maru. Maru means circle. Also, maru ga suki, enke ga suki. Either is okay. And the next kanji that we have is this kanji is onyomi is k, and its konyomi is hakaru. Hakaru means to measure or to weigh. Okay, hakaru. So if you want to write hakaru, this is already haka plus ru. Hakaru. And there are nine strokes for this kanji. Guys, this, this part of this kanji is called gongen. Sorry, gonben. Gonben. It doesn't have a meaning, but it might be some. Sometimes it might be related.
to um, education or communication, Miss Biskanji Gonben. So first, all we have to do is write Gonben. You can write this way. It's okay, but I prefer to write like this because this is my favorite kanji, Gonben. Gonben first, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Just like a cross. So this kanji is K or Hakaru. The examples that I have for you are... Examples are toke. Guys, toke means watch or clock. To. The to is the jikan. Jikan no kanji. Jikan means time. Then G. Uh, sorry, not G. Toke. To. Guys, you can also read this as jikan. Jikan, as ji, jikan, jikan or time. So when you partner this time with k, it means clock or watch. Okay, 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 okay. I really like gomben. I like it. Okay, so toke means clock or watch. Another, I just want to share with you the other kanji that has, or kanji characters that have this gonben. For example, um, shikina. Shikina no shiki. For shikina is the place where we live. Can you see over here? Shikina. It's a bit difficult. This is where we live. This is already shiki. Shiki. And then na is the kanji for namai no no. Namae. So shiki na. And the other one is ego or English. So ego. This is already a. And then go. We already, we also have. We also have gomben and then this. Ego means English. Okay. I just want to share with you the words that has gomben, the words that have gomben. The other example that I have for you is the word UK. And then unnecessary. UK ne. It's unnecessary. For example, uh nagikana. Um, moto nani kakaokana? Nagi kana. For example, you have an event coming up, and you already bought many candies for your students, and then one of the staff asked you, Jane sang moto candy kaimaska. Do we do we have to buy more candies? Ah, uh, you okay this? Hmm? It's unnecessary. Okay, so that is how you use okay. This is how we write okay. This is yo. Guys, this kanji alone, yo, which can mean over or more than over yo and then k is the kanji okay so yo k unnecessary then last example that i have for you for this kanji is the word k kaku k going then first and then just across k this is already k kaku Kaku or gaku? Hey, kaku. Okay. Hey, kaku. Oh, sorry. Hey, kaku. Guys, hey, kaku means plan or project. Hey, kaku. Arimasuka, do you have any plans? Okay. Uh, I don't have any 
as of now. Okay, so guys, that is how we use this keikaku in a sentence. So we are done with our kanji lesson for today, and I hope you are learning a lot from my kanji lesson. So see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.